if we talk about the commotion that has been talked here a state of confused or noisy disturbance that is he says it becomes tough for him to reach to his desk in this state without being looked by the teacher and then he on the other hand describes he compares the uh, today with that of a sunday morning he says here that is this without being but of course that day everything had to be as quiet as sunday morning through the window through the window i saw my classmates already in their places and m hamel walking up and down with his terrible iron ruler under his arm i had to open the door and go in before everybody you can imagine how i blushed and how i was frightened now he says he compares the day with that of a sunday morning why sunday morning why he says it is a sunday morning because the school is closed on sunday and there are hardly there's no one in the school and because of nobody's presence in the school makes the atmosphere very quiet and he says the classroom was also so quiet that he has to move he has to when he opened the door of his classroom he was terribly afraid he was scared and he blushed because of shyness of coming late to the school and even he says he was frightened to enter the school but still he entered and then he says but nothing happened m hamel saw me and said very kindly go to your place quickly little friends we were beginning without you now he says see at the beginning of a chapter he says he is scared of his teacher because he uses ruler he is disciplined he is hard enough but now he says he did not say he was very polite in his saying and m hamel when looked at him he asked him very politely to enter the class and then after entering the class we were he said that they were about to begin the about to begin the class without him and it was a surprise for the boy i jumped over the bench and sat down at my desk not till then when i had got a little over my fright little over my fright what does it mean little over my fright fright means he was scared and he was scared he controlled his that is now he has he is not frightened now and he says did i see that our teacher hat on his beautiful green coat now his observations now see the observation that friends made that he looked first observation he saw is about m hamel he observed his teacher and he found his teacher who has put on a green coat he says his teacher is in a green coat then he says it was frilled it was frilled it was frilled then he talks about his shirt that he has put on his shirt that he has put on a little a little black black silk cap see all these things that is a description of his uh, description about his dress see no 
all these things that is description about uh, m hamel's dress about uh, the green coat which was frill a uh, shirt with little black silk cap all these describe that is something different that is something is there which describes about the teacher's appearance and all was all was embroidered and that talks about that these things normally he put on he used to wear when there is a inspection or a prize day that is on the special days on a special days he used to put on these clothes special days so now the boy starts thinking what might be the reason why are M Hamel why is M Hamel dressed in that is his green coat frill shawl uh, shirt little black silk cap all these things make the boy to think moving ahead with this chapter with the passage that he never wore except on on inspection and the prize days besides the whole school seemed so strange and solemn and he says not only about the dress he talks but the school also seems very different that is he says the school also looks very different and further he says he says but the thing that surprised me most was to see on the back benches now the the boy says but the thing that surprised me most was to see on the back benches which were always empty the village people were sitting there now those back benches back benches which normally used to be empty nobody used to sit now on this day today there were the village people who were sitting at the back who were sitting at the back bench and he says people sitting quietly like ourselves old horses with his three cornered hat the former mayor the former postmaster and several others beside everybody looked sad and see all those elderly all those elderly and renowned people who were sitting there who were sitting there they were sad they were all sad he says they were sad and he says father that is um everybody looked sad and the horse had brought an old primer thumped in the edges he held it open to his knees with his great spectacles lying across the pages while i was wondering about it all m hamel mounted his chair and in the same way grave and gentle tone mounted word is used in this paragraph then there is grave and gentle okay then we talk gentle tone which he had used to me and said my children this is the last lesson i shall give you the order has come from the berlin to teach you only german in schools of in schools of alaska and lorien and the new master comes tomorrow and this is your last french lesson i want you to be very attentive now see this paragraph describes about the few things the the dress of the m hamel the dress of m hamel and then it describes about the last benches of the class which usually remain empty is now seated with the elderly village peoples and their face looked very sad and then we see m hamel mounted his chair he sat on his chair he was grave and gentle grave means he was 
he was very sad and he says in his in his tone he says that my children this is the lesson i shall give you and he says this is his last lesson that he is giving to them and then he says he talks about see at the beginning we have read that uh, when french was passing the bulletin board he wanted to hear what news is there on that board and see same news which he wanted to hear he hear the same news through his master through his teacher m hamel the french teacher who announces here with a very sad tone that the message has come the order has come the order has come from berlin to teach them only german that is the schools of lis and lorraine shall in these schools only german shall be taught and they say he says that their new master would be coming and to teach them the german and this would be their last lesson of the french and last lesson of the french means that they should they were should sit attentive and listen them careful and this is where we end up our today chapter and from this particular passage the question that could come is the first about the dress of m hammer then the uh, that is who were sitting at the last bench who were sitting at the last bench last bench and then what news did french receive from his from his teacher of french or why was it last lesson of french so okay dear students good night meet you tomorrow with the continuation of this chapter